Hey people, welcome back to my channel. Um, as you can see, I am working on a new camera. I think it's a lot better. Hopefully, I'm in like all in focus. If not, I'm so sorry. I will like refilm this. Um, so yeah. Today is gonna be another secret Sunday. I have my little um notes right here on my phone for my for my vlog. Um, as you can see from the pictures, so I will show you from the pictures so you actually can see. Because it's not right that my movie maker program does not like to put pictures into my videos because I tried that last time with for you guys and I ended up putting it in the description box. So if you did not see that in the description box, I'm so sorry. Um, so yeah, anyways, this, we are talking about the attractions um, that are still there. They may not be, that were from 19, from attractions from 1955 till the present day. So some are currently there are some that currently are not operating there, but they're still there, you know, like, um, the, uh, fire wagon, which is in the firehouse at Disneyland. Um, it's not operating anymore, but it's still there in the park. So, yeah. So, obviously, the fire wagon is no longer operating, and then there's other thing is the horse-drawn, um, streetcars. Those are still going up and down the streets of Main Street. Um, back, um... In the 60s, there's a horse drawn Surrey, which is no longer operating. Um, of course, there's the Main Street um, Arcade, which is still there, which used to be the Penny Arcade, everything costs a penny. Um, then there's the Main Street Cinema, which um, is playing the early cartoons of Mickey Mouse and Black and White and all that. You can see that from the time period. Um, the most famous one is Steamboat Willie. Then there is the Main Street uh, Shooting Gallery, um, which was a move in 1962. It, it was right above um, the shooting game, the little arcade game, you know, in uh, Adventureland. No, no, Frontierland, not Adventureland, but it's like right there. And then there, um, the Disneyland Railroad, which was renamed and then railroad in 1974 but it used to be the Santa Fe and the Disneyland Railroad or the Santa Fe train. Uh, then on to the Sanitarium, the canal boats of the world which came later the storybook canal boats in 1956 so a year after the parks opened. Then we had to Junior Circus which is the storybook land uh, scenery which was added in 19. Uh, 56 because they didn't have really a lot of time when the park opened because they were such in a rush um, to get to their date that they wanted to. <coughs> Dumb Dumbo the Fly Animals is in the new um, location. It was moved in 1983. Uh, the King Arthur Carousel, which is in their new um, location, it was also moved in 1983. It was not originally there. It was on I think Dumbo used to be where the teacups was. And then a uh, mad tea party, the teacups, uh, was moved also in 1983, which was where Dumbo used to be, I believe. I used to see where Dumbo used to be or where the carousel used to be. I'm not quite sure on that. Then we have the Mickey Mouse Club Theater, which was then renamed the Fantasyland Theater in 1964 and it closed in 1981. It just opened again. Um, it's a little princess theater thing where they do the storytelling and everything at the theater. Um, then we have the Mis Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, which is in 1983. As you can see, the black and white figures do the color picture um, from the left to the right. So yeah, see that difference? It was enhanced in 1983 to give a better look. Uh, Pyramid Flight was also enhanced in 1983. Yeah, they had their whole renovations again in 1983 for Fantasyland. Like they usually do. Um, uh, Snow White's Avengers became Snow White's Scary Adventures in 1983. So it's a little kid So they added scary so people would not, they would expect it to be a little scary for the little kids. Uh, Topia had numerous enhancements over the years, um, because the technology kept going up and up and up, so they had to figure out some way to do this. And plus, a lot of um, co people who wanted on that, like Han Honda and Toyota and all that, um, 
<clears throat> Tour of the West, which is the original film, uh, closed in 1959. Uh, the original theater closed in 1966. So the theater opened, but it closed in 1966. The Dutch Boy Paint Gallery closed in 1963. Uh, the Crazers Hall of Lumen Flame, 1960, it closed. Um, the Hall of Chemistry closed in 1966. The Rocket to the Moon closed to the 1966. Uh, Space Station X-1 became the latest satellite of View of America in 1958. It closed in 1960. Uh, Symbol uh, Drone Flight Circle closed in 1966. Tomorrowland Boats became the Phantom Boats in 1955. closed in 1956. So that did not last long because um a uh, jungle book I believe and the river America and all that. Twenty thousand leaves in the sea closed in nineteen sixty six. I believe that was where the um, honey I took the kids and later on um, Michael Jackson and I don't know what it is now. Uh the world would use us presented by Richfield Oil Co. closed in nineteen sixty. Now we're on to Frontierland. What's been there since nineteen fifty five? And what closed? Um, con how do you say? The wagons closed in 1959, so it's only around four years. Uh, J.D. Crocker Museum was only open for a couple months. It closed in 1955. And then next to the Golden Horseshoe, uh, the original clo show closed in 1986. We can no longer see the original show that they used to play all the time since 1955. They have new shows, and why is my camera like this? <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. This is buggy. I'm like, I see it leaking. Okay. Um, Indian Village was originally near Adventureland, moved to the current site of Critter Country. You know, on when you go on the river, North America, in that little spot. It, um, that was moved in 1956, so year after it started open and closed in 1971. You can no longer go to the Indian Village. I believe it was where, um, Splash Mountain was, but there is an Indian Village still there when you go on the rivers of America. If you go on the Mark Twain boat, or if you go on the Columbia, but it's not real India, it's just the animatronics now. Mark Twain River Boat is still around. Uh, the Mike Sink uh, boats closed in 1997. They used to be like the Davy Crocker boat. They used to be like um, an actual boat, like you would do the Mike Twain or something, and have to go on the Rivers of America. We no longer have them. The Mule Pass um, became the Rainbow Ridge Mule Pass in 1956, and it became Mule Pass in Nature Ridge Wonderland, which is now uh, Big Thunder Mountain. It closed, uh, Nature Wonderland closed in 1960. Uh, no, the Mule Pass closed in 1960, Nature's Wonderland closed in 1973. Uh, the Stagecoach Ride became, um, Rainbow Mountain Stagecoach Ride, um, opened in 1906, closed in 1959. Only around for three years. Uh, eventually, uh, last thing still there since 1955, the, um, Jungle Cruise, which has a numerous enchant enhancements over the years. And if you believe this or not, it actually used to have two it's even bigger and before Indiana Jones came into that in the 80s, I believe. So that's it since for the attractions that have been there since 1955. There are a lot of them that closed, but there are still a few that are found. Until next, next time, Eva, I'll see you next time. Bye!